How to connect an NTC temperature sensor to a Zelio Smart Relay and display the measured temperature on the front panel display. In order to connect a two-wire temperature sensor to the Schneider Electric Smart Relay, the Zelio Smart Relay, you have to use a 24-volt DC unit. I have the January 2022 catalog open and I'm going to select the SR2B121BD part number. That is a 24 volt DC unit. I am, I'm going to go down to page 21 in the catalog and it's going to list some accessories. In the accessories we have some measurement accessories and we have these different devices listed so depending on what you're doing you may have to use a stainless device or a different uh, a device with a different IP rating in the case of what uh, I'm I'm using I'm using one of these IP 68 rated units and these numbers uh, are 1.53 and 5 are the cable length in meters so you can get them with some really long cable lengths if you want to do some home automation or building automation very handy so an NTC is a negative temperature coefficient device I'll read their little description here temperature control with NTC probe the NTC or negative temperature coefficient probe is a thermistor in that it is a passive temperature sensor its resistance changes with the temperature decreasing as the temperature rises and vice versa. So that's the unit that we will connect and program and set up. I am about to start programming. I have Zelio Soft open and I will show you which version I am using. I'm using version 5.4.2. Always use the latest version, especially if you want to program some of these new functions like temperature you need a really late version for that okay I'm gonna click new file category I select the module on the upper left and I'm looking for a 24 volt DC unit I have to use it and it's SR2B 121 BD in my case that's the unit that I have I'll click next this unit has relay outputs and we can choose between ladder or function block. In this case, for temperature controllers, the input sensor, we have to use function block. Okay, so we have a blank sheet and we'll put in a thermistor. So we go down on the lower left, and we look at the inputs and right at the bottom, the bottom row, there is a symbol for a thermistor. And if you highlight it with, or hover over it with your mouse, it'll tell you it, that's what it is. I'll take that, I'm going to put it in input B. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll double click on it and have a look at the parameters. Okay, so um, the default value is, is the, the parameters listed for the NTC 10K at 25 degrees C here. And it refers to part numbers down below. Those are those Schneider part numbers. So under further information, those are those Schneider part numbers that I showed you in the catalog. There are numerous other options to choose from, but in this case, we will go with that commercially available unit from Schneider. So we've selected the sensor. Over on the right-hand side, we can check the box for compensation and it allows the uh, compensation for the actual temperature in the sensor changing itself due to the current flowing through it you would need that in a very high precision application in this case we'll leave it unchecked we can select celsius fahrenheit or kelvin and we can select units in one tenth of one degree i'll just uncheck that uh, we're just going to be measuring room temperature so i'll uncheck that but again, if you want to adjust intensive degree, measure intensive degree, then you would check that box. Below that box, we have what's called an alarm output. And we have an upper threshold and a lower threshold. If you want to set values to trigger alarms, 
this contact on the thermistor. So where my mouse is, the one on the bottom, will turn on based on the parameters in the alarm output. Okay, so to the left of it, we have what's called an attenuation of disturbances setting. So basically it's a filter on the input. We can filter uh, if you get some spikes, some magnetic induction on the on, on the conductors and you, you have a rise and fall in the uh, in the voltage, you can ignore them uh, based on uh, based on these values. I'll just leave it on strong as per the default. And we're good to go. I'll click OK. Now what you'll notice is there's there's two connections on the thermistor. And as I said, the bottom one is an alarm output. And the one above it is the actual analog value for temperature. And it automatically provides a temperature value. It's all scaled and set up for you. So the next step is to um, put the text block in to display that temperature. But first, we need to put a function in to allow us to calibrate the thermistor if it is off. So I'll show you how to do that. So we go down to function block here, click on function block, and I'm going to look for a little math block. And basically it's just a straight addition block. And I'll take that value from the temperature sensor and connect it to one of those inputs on the block. And then we'll take a number right here and we will connect it to the plus. So basically the input value plus the offset will result in a calculation output. So now we need to get ourselves a text block. So we'll put a text block in and on the text block, the variables or the numbers from various devices, timers, counters, analog comparers and so on are represented in this green, this, this green uh, highlighted value. We take that and we connect it to another green input value on the screen and we'll be able to program it. So if we go into the, 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 the text screen, we'll double click on it. And the calculation out, output for block one, so B001 is this unit right here or this calculation. I'll just take it and drag it down into the text area. And then we left our setup for degree C, so I will put C, so temperature C. And then over on the left, I'll just type in room temp. And then on the top, we can, we can take our date, drop it in there, our hour, and put it over here on the right. So room temp and temperature in degree C, and click OK, and we're good to go. Now this number, this offset, we can, once we check the temperature against a known value, that we can calibrate it against, we can adjust that through the front panel. Now I am ready to download to the controller and do some field testing. I've put some put some comments in here. It's always it's very, very important to comment your work. Okay, start doing that early if you're ever getting into this kind of uh, this kind of work. It's very important to have comments. So I'll transfer from PC to module. Stop the module, yes. And we'll click run mode and monitoring mode after loading. So we'll just go ahead and download. I have the program downloaded into the controller. This is the interface connection for the temperature sensor. I have the white wire connected to the plus 24. I have the black lead from the sensor connected to input B. Here is the sensor. I also have a very expensive meter with a temperature probe input so I can calibrate this thing. 
The meter, go leave, let that be. The meter is reading around 23.5 degrees Celsius. Over on this side, on our controller, we are reading 27. So we've got a little bit of an offset that we need to put in. So what I'll do is I'll go in and adjust that block, that calibration block. So if I hit this menu button on the controller, it'll allow us to do that. So hit the menu button, select parameters, and it's block number two. So we, what we do now is we arrow over and it's set to zero. We don't want to add, we need to go negative. So what we'll do is we'll go negative four. One, two, three, four. Hit enter, confirm changes, yes. Yes, so now it says 24 degrees Celsius. Our meter says 23. We need to go one more, so we'll do it again. So we menu button, parameters, enter, and then we scroll over, constant, and we'll take it down one more. Click OK. Click yes. Now it says 23 and our $900 meter, that's Canadian dollars, says 23. So we uh, calibrated by using that little addition block. Basically we're just using an offset to calibrate it, which will work great for room temperature. So now we can set up a little heating system.